welcome to The Child's View. We're here today with my colleagues, Dr. Bernadette Towns and Becky Roth, and I'm Sharon Brown. Today, we're going to be talking about the use of puppets, how to make some puppets, and why we would want to use puppets with children. Oh, really? Yes, that's what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a lot of, of information to give you. First of all, um, just what the benefits are. Do you guys have any idea of what those benefits might be? Well, definitely language development, right? And so, and cognitive development, which is the development be? of the brain and ideas and thought and creativity. Um, so uh, it's another form of talking to your children, but at the same time making it interesting. Mm -hmm. And right. so that they don't get bored right. with what you're trying to tell them or teach them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. Well, and you know, Piaget says that children engage in animism, which means they believe that they're yeah. real. So that bird, I'm afraid of birds. I would love this bird. Yeah. So, you know, getting over certain fears, sure. and yes. learning to relate, and social sure. emotional development, and... Sure, Wonderful. and oftentimes, you know, I'm a big fan of, of Mr. Rogers. Uh, I don't know if you guys all like Mr. Rogers, but um, <laughs> I grew up with Mr. Rogers. And Mr. Rogers um, used puppets because he felt that, that children could relate to them and he made them have real life experiences. But what we have found and what research has found is that children who are going through emotional trauma will actually tell things to a puppet mm -hmm. that they won't tell uh, to absolutely. anyone else. Yes. Nice. And so, and, and a puppet, I just want to do this really quick because a puppet doesn't have to be a expensive big puppet that mm -hmm. you, um, that the mouth has to move. Mr. Rogers actually used puppets that, whose mouths didn't you, didn't move. move. Huh. So a very basic puppet that I like to use with my children is a paper puppet. Oh, and it just becomes so your hand. Cute. Just becomes. I know. I, I, I know. need those. <laughs> there we go. Where did you get those? Um, actually, I've had these for <laughs> a long time. <laughs> but um, you can it, you can go online and get and them. Get They're them, called yeah. paper puppets. Paper puppets. But children, peeper. P -E -E? Like I'm peeping at oh. you. Oh. And so um, children love this. But the instant I put this on with a group of children, they're like. Yeah. It's like the hand. Tension getter. You, you no longer yeah. can see the yeah. hand. I love it. So, Do they have them for their little fingers yes. too? Yes. Yes. There's oh. a smaller version for children's can fingers. Oh. Sure. Sure. Oh. Another. <laughs> like, which we need a puppet playing class. Yes. A puppet use class, <laughs> right? And all teachers already probably know yes. this. But the basic, your basic puppet. And, and right. who made these famous? Right. Fandango. Really? If you ever went to the movies. Fandango, oh. the puppets that they use to 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 um, advertise Fandango, they're paper bag puppets. Oh, nice. And so paper bag puppets, of course, you could add lots and lots of things to that, um, and then they talk as well. Um, another paper type puppet that I like to use is just a folding paper puppet. So parents at home could oh. do this very easily, and it just talks then. But okay, so you don't have construction paper at home? Guess what? You can do the same thing by using newspaper and then decorating wow. it. So how did you do that? What did you do? Did you fold sure. it? Sure. Hmm. So if you take a full piece of newspaper. Uh, I've never made newspaper, one of these, just saying. Here's no the tiny papers. <laughs> we would just fold it in thirds. Okay. Like that. Fold it in half and then take the sides and fold up. How cool is that? And then you're going to take a little piece of tape and tape them a little bit. Very much like I have done this one. So you okay. tape it on the side, and then you have your little finger holes to go in it. So nice. there you go. I need wow. crocodile. Yes. Yeah, that you one can would make be a crocodile. crocodile. There's lots of things, but this is a quick for teachers. Yeah. This is nice. like, oh my gosh, I want to do something with my kids at group time. Right. I don't have a puppet. Boom. You can do this in just yeah. a few minutes and add things to it. Well, and the kids could make them. I oh thought, yeah, that's the kids what I make was them. thinking, Sharon, that at home oh, you yeah. could spend some time making them and then do a little puppet thing with that's your kids. That's after right. You and use you know, our boxes. There we go. We just box did that box one a while ago, so yeah. you could do that. Cool. Um, another another really simple one is um, I pick these up at my favorite store that will remain un unnamed, <laughs> but everything's only a dollar. <laughs> and here it is. You call that. Yes. 
What? But it was a it was a um, oh, it was stuffed, a real stuffed animal. animal. Yeah. Yeah. So I unstuffed it, and again, oh my. it it doesn't have to I talk. Love that. Oh, and that it can is and awesome. it can it can help. You just pulled the stuffing out. I just pulled the stuffing out. Oh. Wow. Just undid the seam, and it's you know it's not going to ravel because it's that kind of material. Well, and I'm thinking about you like packets for teachers to send home when you've got kids who've yeah. experienced trauma or oh, wonderful. You know, yeah, wonderful. Send it home, keep it, give them each one. Oh, the other one, of course, is the you know the infamous sock. Puppet. Infamous sock <laughs> puppet. Yes, we like the infamous sock puppet. But just a hint for infamous sock puppet. You want the mouth to be hard enough that it will stay because if you don't, you have to keep tucking that back in. So what you do is you take a little piece of cardboard and you put it on the outside mm. and then you fold your your um, puppet right inside oh, of it okay. Okay. so that the cardboard creates nice. the mouth. Okay. okay. And then did you just glue this Yeah, on just, just glued. Just some of it's hot glue, good. but some of it's just white glue. Huh. But um, it it works really well, so I'll just show you this little cardboard right here. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, okay. that that is simple. Yeah, it's like a shipping very box simple cardboard. Yeah, yeah. And then you can you know all kinds of other puppets, little puppets, but they don't have to. The great thing is, language development happens right here yes. right. because they will practice talking. Right. They will have conversations with it. Yes. Social development, if we use that box to mm -hmm. make that puppet theater, then they're talking to each other and they right. will talk out problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, that they're afraid to voice, they'll voice it through yep. here and they'll have that conversation. Mm -hmm. um, the last two, <clears throat> if you just don't have any puppets at home, oven mitt <laughs> okay. makes a really good puppet. And then the last one is a different kind of oven mitt. It's the little silicone oven mitts, and they make really good puppets too. Wow! So I love it. Wow! So do you just need a hot glue gun, or I mean, do you even hot need a hot gun? glue no, gun? No, you can use white glue on a, this. White glue. White glue on paper. Okay. This I use tacky glue. Oh. Okay. And then this one I actually used hot glue. Okay. okay. <laughs> but hey, just to recap. The importance of puppets, language development, social emotional development is massive when we're yes. talking about young children. Remember if you have those young children that are um, having a hard time with language development, give them a, give them a puppet, they can practice that. Mm -hmm. If they're having anxiety or if they're sad, they will tell their stories to a puppet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for watching The Child's View again. I hope you tune in for our next episode. In the meantime, have a great day.